Hey guys, I'm Steve from Trim That Weed, and today we're going to be comparing the Echo 2620 versus Echo 225 trimmer. You can find the links to the products in the description, and you can use the links to check the latest prices and other user reviews. Make sure to watch until the end of the video to know our final verdict on which trimmer is better. Echo is a leading manufacturer of equipment, including trimmers. Some of its leading trimmers are the Echo 2620 and 225, and they guarantee you the best performance. For a buyer, you may be torn between these two. In this video, we will help you choose between the two trimmers. Echo 2620 versus Echo 225 trimmer. How do they compare? Tank capacity. Echo 2620 has a fuel tank capacity of 540 cc and takes in only gasoline, whereas the 225 model has a 440 cc tank capacity and uses a mixture of gasoline and oil. The bigger fuel tank capacity gives a longer runtime in between the fill-ups. Echo 2620 has a bigger tank capacity than an Echo 225. Engine Echo 2620 has an engine displacement of 25.4 cc and a power output of 1.2 bhp. Echo 225 offers a 21.2 cc engine displacement that produces a power output of 1.1 bhp. The higher engine displacement produces more power output, which increases the efficiency. Echo 2620 has a better engine than the 225. Price these two trimmer models from Echo differ significantly in price. Echo 225 starts at $199, whereas Echo 2620 starts at $329. Since the Echo 2620 is an advanced model of the two, the price difference gets you a higher fuel tank capacity, as well as other features that we'll take a look at later in the video. Echo 225 is cheaper than the Echo 2620. Echo 2620 versus Echo 225. A comparison overview. Echo 2620 Overview and Features This Echo trimmer has a dual-line head that leaves a 17-inch swath and propelled by a 25.4cc professional-grade engine made from magnesium. The trimmer has an extremely stiff cutting line with a diameter of 0.095 inches. Since this trimmer runs on gasoline, it comes with a 20.6 large fuel tank that gives you extended runtime between fill-ups. With the two-stage air filtration, you get an increased cleaning capability which extends the maintenance period between intervals. The Echo SRM2620 is easy to start up or restart, especially in hot and dusty climates. For comfort, the trimmer has over-molded front and rear hand grips. This Echo trimmer comes with a speed-feed 400 cutting head that reloads in a matter of seconds, without having to disassemble. The drive shaft is a four-layer cable and is 59 inches long. Pros, rich in torque. The throttle offers great response. Higher engine displacement of 25.4 cc. Cons, the vibration dampening, heavy, expensive. Echo 225 Overview and Features The Echo 225 is made in the USA and features a two-stroke, 21.2cc professional-grade engine offering exceptional performance. Turning on and beginning your trimmer is simple and easy thanks to the i30 starting system. The engine is durable and has a longer lifespan due to the toolless cover air filtration system, which improves durability. Furthermore, maintaining this air filtration is simple and doesn't need any tools. The Echo 225 has an engine vibration system to help reduce vibration during use, giving the user enough comfort, hence minimizing fatigue. In addition, the rubber handle has an ergonomic design for comfort. With the speed feed trimmer head, reloads are easy and quick. The head comes with a debris shield with an inbuilt cutoff knife to keep your line at the ideal length when trimming. Pros, lightweight, budget-friendly. Cons, lower engine displacement and hence lower power output allows use of a mixture of gasoline and oil. Verdict. So which is better, Echo 2620 or Echo 225 trimmer? Echo 2620 has a higher fuel tank capacity and power output, making it ideal for bigger yards. Echo 225, on the other hand, is lightweight, and due to its lower fuel tank capacity and power output, it's ideal for smaller yards. It's also pocket-friendly, offering value for money. How do you trim your yard edges? Which trimmer would you consider purchasing? Tell us your thoughts in the comments section below. Also, if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more. See you in the next one.